George Potter, you are a minister at the Home Office. Yes, I am. Yes, and one of your, one of your many tasks <laughs> is to refine the criminal justice system. Yes, well, of course, the criminal justice system is deeply flawed. Oh, is it? Yes. yes. In what way, exactly? Well, for one thing, the Prime Minister doesn't like it. Oh, well, in that case... <laughs> You see, what's wrong with the criminal justice system, as the name implies, is that it falls down on the point that before you can punish somebody, mm. there has to be a crime. <laughs> yes, well, one would certainly assume so. Uh, well, you say that, but why do you assume it? I mean, it's extremely restrictive. Is it? Yes. I mean, if you, if you have to prove a crime, you suddenly get involved in very, very grey areas. Grey areas? What, what do you mean by grey areas? Again? Well, you know, courts. <laughs> Evidence. Oh. Lawyers. Oh, yes. And now, still in far too many cases, juries. Juries. <laughs> And so we end up with our hands tied behind our backs. Yes, of course. But uh, we are taking steps to uh, reverse this situation. Uh, are you? What, what sort of steps? Uh... Well, this year, a section of the Serious Organised Crime and Police Act mm. has come into force, which defines the grounds on which a person can be arrested. Yes. And, and, and what are they? Any grounds, basically. <laughs> Well, yes, and surely not for anything. I mean, somebody must have done something, mustn't they? No, don't underestimate us. <laughs> but in this list, there is a clause which covers anything. <laughs> you see? Uh, what it says is that a policeman can effect an arrest if it allows, and I quote, a quick and expeditious involvement in an investigation on the offence or on the conduct of the person in question. Oh. Now, conduct can be anything. That's <laughs> true, yes. I mean, however one wants to uh, uh, avoid, avoid uh, uh, conduct, you, uh, you, you simply you can't. can't. I mean, even, no, no. even if you stand quite still with your eyes shut, yes. I mean, that's still... Conduct, isn't it's it? Yes, I'm trying conduct. to do that. Yes, 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 come on, this is a, this is a breakthrough, isn't it? It is, yes. it is a breakthrough. Yes. You see, in the past, police were very, very frustrated, weren't they? When they, mm. when they saw someone in the street and thought, I don't like the look of him. Yes. <laughs> yes. yes. And in those days, they couldn't do anything about it, but now they can. No, they can. Yes. The person can be arrested, photographed, fingerprinted, mm. and have a sample of its DNA, or their DNA, I'm sorry, I said it. They are people. They are people, yes. Are people. Yes. Have a sample yes. of their DNA taken, <laughs> <laughs> and if necessary, by force. If necessary, by force. Yes. Well, that's, that's good, isn't that's it? That's a nice touch, It is, it? yes. <laughs> Yeah, I like that. Well, of course, just because somebody's arrested doesn't necessarily mean they'll end up in prison, does it? <laughs> no, that is a drawback. Yes. Um, I agree with that. But on the other hand... On the other hand... Yes, sorry, yes? Uh, we are taking steps to get round it. What steps are these? Well, uh, the most useful step, of course, is the ASBO. The, the, the uh, antisocial behaviour. Yes. yes. And ASBOs can cover a whole range of human conduct. I mean, a person can be prevented from entering a city centre, from talking to specific people, or even from sitting in the front seat of a car. Yes, but these aren't actual offences, are they? No, but if you break an ASBO, you are liable to up to five years in prison. Actually, so in, in theory, you can be given five years in prison just for sitting in the front seat of a car? Oh, this isn't hypothetical. No. <laughs> and, I mean, it's been the same with the dispersal orders. Oh, the, 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 which allow police to disperse cr crowds uh, from s specific areas? Yes, if they think that the crowd is likely to behave in a way which is likely to cause alarm and uh, distress. distress. Yes, yes. Uh, yes. Uh, what, what constitutes a crowd, exactly? In the act? In the act. Uh, two people. Two people, <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, but only one of them needs to be behaving badly yes. at, 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 right. at and, the time. And who is the other one? Can be anybody. It can be, it can be his mother. Very likely to be his mother. Yes. His mother. 
Yes, his mother. Yes, 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 uh, yes. His mother. Yes. His mother, yes. Because oh. that's the point of having parenting orders. Yes. You yes. see, because mothers don't know how to bring up their children. No, no. That's well, the point. of course, and if children persist in misbehaving, well, well then the parents can go to prison. Yes, more more people in prison. Actually. More people, more people, people in, prison. in prison. Exactly, yes. exactly. Yes. and that's fine. I mean, that's yes. absolutely fine yes. as far as it goes. Oh dear. Yes, <laughs> but we have noticed that there is one point in which the dispersal order crucially falls down. Crucially falls down. What, what, what point is that? Well, the point is when the one person who constitutes the crowd, the crowd yes. is not behaving badly. It's not, not behaving badly no. enough. No, 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 no. no. That's, that's, that's a great disappointment. Yes. But we well, have put in a clause in the Violent Crime Reduction Act, yes. which allows a policeman to issue the dispersal order if no one is doing anything wrong. I mean, yes. the one person in the crowd the one person doing in the crowd, anything yes. wrong. But the policeman thinks <laughs> that yes. possibly sometime in the future yes. he might. He might do, he might do something wrong. Might do something wrong. <laughs> and this is, of course, makes the point once again of the crying need for identification cards. For <laughs> everybody. Does it? Does it? Yes. Oh. oh, certainly does. Yes. Yes, sir. Because I... it's obvious and very, very clear that the government regards the entire population as being potentially a criminal. Yes. <laughs> and therefore, we have to keep track of the bastards. Yes. <laughs> Good, well, thank you very much. Thank you. Mind how you do it. <laughs>